Fine, don't talk to me. I just want to know why we are doing all this. Did did I make any mistake? If that is so, then I'm sorry for that. The man sitting next to you sighed annoyingly and looked at you. You did nothing, Vyan. It's just I can't lie anymore for your sake. I like another woman. A tear escaped your eyes and you quickly wiped it and looked at him. Why we are doing all this when everything is going all well? It's not, Vyan. That was just an attraction of some time and fade it now. I don't feel anything for you. We shouldn't marry in the first place and after living under the same roof, this attraction automatically builds. That doesn't mean love. I thought after what our parents did with us, we are going to fix their mistake, but you make it worse. He shook his head and looked down. Will it be okay with you if I keep pretending nice to you and behind your back I meet some other woman? That's the only reason why I am still sitting here. At least you choose to hurt me this way. I want to end it in a good way, Vyan. We can't live our whole life just pretending. But I start loving you. I even start to imagine my future with you. I'm sorry that I raised fake hopes in you, but I couldn't help, Vyan. I just realized that my heart doesn't do beat for you anymore. You chuckled sadly and looked at him. How easy it is for you to say that you fell out of love with me, but you ever think how it affect me? He didn't say anything and exchanged the divorce paper to you. I will give you all your expenses until you won't settle, and also you can live here if you want. I don't want to your favor when we are breaking every tie of us. You signed the paper and put them on the table. Thank you for everything you did to for me. You really made me feel real love. You said and start walking towards the door. I never tell you to leave. It's dark out. There is no point for me to live here now. It's better if we can't see each other anymore. It's raining. Why are you sitting here? You might catch a cold. You didn't say anything. Just thinking about what happened a while ago. That just flip your world, whole world. He signed and walked closer to you, taking you under his umbrella. You can cry if you want. No one can hear you in this heavy rainfall. I think this rain is showing the pain in your heart. Your hand is bleeding. If you continue standing here in this rain, it might be swollen. I also don't want to stay here soaking in water. But how can I leave you here? Why do you even care? He raised his brows and chuckled slightly. We don't even know each other. How do you just end up caring about a person you just met? That's a relief. Even if you told me about your insecurities, you don't have to feel embarrassed because we never going to cross our ways again. My husband abandoned me because he fell out of love with me and start liking some other woman or maybe he never loves me. It was just an attraction because we were living under same roof. Your voice broke as you got silent crying in your heart. How unlucky. You don't have to cry. It was his bad luck that he leaves you. and your good luck that you got to know about his true color you nodded and wiped your tears if you don't have any place to stay then you can stay with me you looked at him while your blurry vision he was smiling like an angel hey don't you misunderstand me as a kidnapper i'm just asking you because i want to help you you think for a while and he patiently waits for your answer he you had no other choice he is not looking like a bad person and also you need it a place to stay you looked at him and nodded he smiled as his lip curled up in a heart shape and extended his hand towards you jungo suk you accept his hand for a handshake i'm min vaigan he nodded and slid his hand under his pocket is it your real name or your husband he asked pausing a bit in two sentences Oh, he was came who took smile and parted your head just leave it here and start a new life because you deserve something better and more beautiful you don't have to be so formal with her she is of your age where you find her who took pour soup in the bowl and looked at him her husband divorced her just because he fell out of love with her did it even make any sense caring everyone's problem is something that doesn't make sense to
Oh come on, I can't just leave her there crying and soaking in rain. Your elbow is bleeding. He looked towards his elbow and smiled. It's not that deep. Now go and give her this. Wh why me? Because helping others is the most beautiful thing and it gives you happiness. He put the tray in his hand and walked towards his room. And also, I am all soaked in water and need to change. Jungkook looked at the tray he was holding and at the door of your room. He let out a heavy sign and walked towards your room. Jungkook was standing outside your room hearing your sobs. He can't able to gather himself and open the door because it will be uncomfortable for you. Because he knows what destruction the breaking heart caused in the mind and in the heart of a person. He let you cry standing there hearing your sobs, which were getting louder at every second. After you stopped crying, he opened the door a little and saw you sleeping on the bed. He didn't say anything and left from there, giving you some time alone. Week later Rock, paper, scissors you all went silent for a second and suddenly Hosuk jumped in happiness. Today is my lucky day. I am so relieved. You looked at Jungkook and he shrugged his shoulder. Tell me what you want to eat. Just anything but it would be tasty. He said and jumped on the couch turning on the television. You both can enjoy working together while I am enjoying my favorite drama. Let's go Jungkook. I will make the dinner and you have to wash the dishes. Best of luck you two, you rolled your eyes and walked inside the kitchen. No one will believe that he is the CEO of the biggest company in Korea. Did he always behave this weirdly? No, sometimes he behaves more weirdly than this. Hey, how about going for a walk after dinner? That will be nice. Yoon, we are going for a walk after dinner. Wanna join us? You both go. I want to rest as much as I can. Jungkook looked at you and you smiled. That's fine, let's finish our work and we both go together. He nodded and started helping you in making dinner. You quickly wiped your tears when Jungkook sits beside you. He dusted his hand and looked towards the sparkling river. You can cry in front of me too, just like you do with Hyun. I was not crying, it's just wind here is too strong. He chuckled and looked at you. Don't lie when you are not good. I wish I could be good at pretending, so at least I will live with him, pretending that I am the only woman he loves. No, that's mean you keep pretending it doesn't hurt you, and you really think a person like him deserves you? I never understand why people I love don't want to look at me. Why do all of them abandon me? I never do anything which hurt them. I do everything they want, even now. When he won't divorce me, I didn't protest. I also used to think the same until I met Hosokyun. We looked at him confused. He, he is not your brother. We look like one, right? But we are not. He takes me to his house just like you. But the difference is I was only 13 at that time. I didn't go through the heartbreak like you, but believe me, my life was not that easy too. My mom died when I was two. My father raised me but not any less than trash. He used to drink and fight a lot. One day he suddenly brings a woman home saying she is my mother and his wife but that lady never behaves once like that i ran from my house because i can't tolerate that torture but that was my biggest mistake the outside world was crueler than my father i spent several days in the cold street but one day i met hoso kyung he was no less than an angel in my life but my condition was not that i can believe anyone but today whatever i had what am i is all because of him he is not any less than us. I saw him crying alone a lot of the time. He lose so many people that now it hurts him to see anyone being hurt. No one going to understand what that smile holds, how much pain he is hiding behind that smile, happy face. One day just like this, he told me about him. That day I understand that I am not the only person who had pain in my life. We can never understand what the person in front of us holding. And about this world, no one cares, they are just curious. We never know if the person who is with us, love us, will love us tomorrow or not. You should be happy that now you are out of that hell, which might hurt you a little but save you from heartbreaking. You look down as if your heart was feeling light but heavy at the same time. You always thought that you were the one who had pain at every stage of your life, but you never thought that in front of some 
पीपल योर पेन इज नथिंग यू माइट बी फीलिंग हर्ट बाय सींग हिम विद अनदर गर्ल बट बिलीव मी ही इज नॉट सम वन फॉर यू जस्ट पुट योर हैंड ऑन योर हार्ट एंड आक्स योर सेल्फ इफ ही रिंस बैक टू यू एंड आक्स फॉर एन अपोलॉजाइ विल यू एबल टू फॉर गिव हिम एंड अगेन गो बैक टू वेयर यू वर यू थिंक फॉर हिम हिज वर्ड फॉर अ वाइल एंड अगेन लुक डेट हिम आई डोंट नो आई नेवर नो वट एम आई गोइंग टू डू एट दैट टाइम डू वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू बट डोंट फॉर गट टू स्क्रीच लेमन इन हिज आईज सो ही रियलाइज हिज मिस्टेक यू चक्कल मेकिंग हिम स्माइल टू योर हार्ट इज स्टिल हैवी इज एंट इट यू आर स्टिल क्राइंग बिकॉज इट कैन नेवर बी द टीयर ऑफ हैप्पीनेस नो मैटर हाउ हार्ड आई ट्राई टू फॉर गट हिम आई कॉन्ट ही इज माई फर्स्ट इन एवरी थिंग ही इज द वन हु टीचर्स मी हाउ टू लव आई वॉज ब्रोकन जस्ट लाइक टूडे बट ही गैदर मी लव मी एंड मेक मी वर्थी हाउ कैन आई जस्ट फॉर गट द पर्सन हु क्राइज विद मी ऑन माई बैड डेज आई डोंट नो वट एम आई गोइंग टू डू वेन ही रन्स टू मी बट आई एम श्योरली गोइंग टू आक्स हिम वाई यू ग्रैब द योर सोजू बॉटल एंड गर्व द लास्ट ए परफेक्ट ट्राइंग योर बेस्ट नॉट टू बेस्ट इन टीयर्स Life is too short to care about things which were going to hurt you. If he gather you then don't let him break you. Show him that he was wrong of you. You are way stronger than he thought. Just tell him you don't need him to make you happy and worthy. You can do it on your own. Can you bring me one more bottle of soju? You are minor and already drunk. I know that's why I asked you. Let me drink today because from tomorrow I want to start a new life. He thinks for a moment and nods. He got up and walked away from there. You look towards sea and sigh deeply. After some time, Jungkook comes with a soju bottle and gives it to you. Jungkook, if I got drunk and cried, please don't make fun of me. After that, because I never cry in front of anyone except Hoseok. He didn't say anything as he was looking at you gulping the soju like water. You put the empty bottle down and looked at the sky, struggling to control your tears. But alcohol takes over you. making it hard to control your tears you burst into tears jungkook pull you in a tight hug pat in your back like he was waiting for you to open up with him you hug his waist and your sobs get little louder you should be more careful while working it's just small thing what if something bad could happen huh and if you don't know how to use things then no one said you to do it Hoseok was calling in air while tying his shoelaces. Your eyes were on Jungkook who was applying the ointment on your elbow carefully. You were smiling looking at his cute focused face. Then next time be ca- more careful. He said finishing the dressing while you nodded looking at your elbow. Thank for your this kindness. You're welcome queen. You both laughed and looked at Hoseok. We are all ready. Shall we go now? He scoffed and gave you a annoyed look. I am the one who should ask you this. I am the one who is tired of waiting for you to. You two really shares the same brain cells. Okay, okay, don't be an angry bird and let's go or we will going to miss it. You all quickly grab your jackets and walked out the room locking the house door. You three walked towards your destination. Let's take a break for some time. I'm really so tired now. You sat on the ground catching your breath while they both sighed together. Just a while we took a 30 minute break. Was that not enough for you? You gulped the water and looked at him. You are a boy. That's why you don't understand how difficult it is. Like this we're surely going to miss the view this time. Don't worry, just 15 minutes and we will start again. You never understood anyone's feeling. He mumbled in his mouth. but enough for you to hear you just smile and shrug it jungkook sat in front of you facing the back on you you looked at him confused what are you up to hope out we don't have time for you oh you don't have to do this just give me 5 minutes and it will be okay hope on before i change my mind and carry you your eyes widen at his statement i i am a little heavy i know but you left us with no choice na pali You put it and wrapped your arms around his neck. He got up and start walking. Jungkook put you down and take a deep breath. You looked at him concerned. You okay? What's the point of going gym daily when I can't even carry a girl? Either you are so heavy or I am weak. You are insulting me on my face. Truth always feels like an insult. Now look there. You were about to fight back but you forget everything when you look at the view. 
Oh, it's so beautiful. I know, right? We often come here. It's really give us time to escape from our busy life. You close your eyes and feel the cold breeze on your face. These 6 months were so struggling for you. You fight with yourself and with your emotions, but in the end you are happy. It was so hard for you to move on from that heartbreak. You used to cry a lot but never let it break you. And now when you don't have tears to shed over things that don't deserve you, you are happy. Hey, you both help me to make this tent. He said struggling to make a tent. You smile a little. Should I click a pic of you also? Stop it and help me. You look more beautiful when you smile. Jungkook spoke suddenly making your heart skip a beat and your cheeks turn red. Smile more often. It feels so good. I am coming to help you, Husuk. You said running towards him making Jungkook burst into laughter. You come for a morning walk with Jungkook and he went to grab some drink for you both while your eyes were caught by a person who noticed you too but was busy talking to someone. They both bid goodbye to each other and he walked towards you. With his every step towards you making your heart beat race and your pain which was buried a lot of time ago come up but you don't know why it doesn't hurt you this much. Hi Vyan how's you doing? You forced a smile and nodded. Do good to see you doing well. Uh, how about you? He chuckled and looked at you. Since when did you start struggling, Ryan? Don't know when I changed. You said getting emotional meeting him after so long, but flinch when you feel a strong arm around your waist. You looked and saw Jungkook. He smiles at you and looked at her. May I permit to know what this young man is doing with my girl? You looked at him shocked while Hwan looked at you a little confused. Wow, you already start dating. That's so really revealing. You know how much I got scared when you leave the house without a word and I tried to find you but he stopped looking at Jungkook. You kind of catch what he is thinking. He knows everything. He smiled and looked at you and then Jungkook. You really deserve better, Ryan, and you got it. Hoping happy life for you and I am sorry for that time. You don't have to feel sorry. I forgive you a long time ago. It is because if you can't abandon me, I'll never meet the person I am living with. This smile really makes you more beautiful. Just smile like this forever. Don't worry, I will take care of her. He said pulling you more closer to him. Honey, we are getting late. Come fast. You look towards a voice and saw a pregnant lady standing holding her baby bump. You looked at Hwan and he smiled. She is my wife. Oh, a blessing for your baby. Is it a boy or a girl? Well, I'm not in gender revealing. Let's embarrass whoever we got. Don't forget to tell me. I won't. You will be the first person I'm going to tell the news. Okay, I got to go now. He said and ran to his wife. You smile and look at Jungkook. He quickly take back his hand from your waist and look away running his finger through his hair. You, you know, I thought Thank you for your support. I was feeling nervous in front of him. He scratched the back of his neck and nodded. Your cheeks turned red, still feeling his touch. I think we should go now. You run from there while he follows you, smiling crazily. Wyan, you are leaving and you didn't even tell us. Sorry, Husuk. I forgot to tell you guys. They appoint me as their advisor and also arrange an apartment for me. You said looking at Jungkook whose eyes were sad and disappointed. So you are shifting forever. I mean we are not going to meet again. Well the soul is not that far. We can meet in weekends, don't we? Don't worry about me. Soul is like my second home. It's just Jungkook don't visit there. I think I should leave now. Jungkook drop her to the subway. No, I already booked the cab for myself. I don't want to bother you to anymore. You are like my sister. If you even bother me, then I don't care. I'm going to miss you. You said and hugged him while he patted your back and smiled. Don't overwork yourself and try to focus on your health more, okay? You nodded and booked the hug. You turned to Jungkook and he passes you a weak smile. Thank you to Jungkook. He didn't say anything, just pull you into a tight hug. At first you got shocked, but after hug him back, who took smile at your boat. 
Take care and sleep on time. You really wake till late at night. You too. Don't make Ho Sakyun work too much, okay? He nodded. Suddenly, you heard a horn voice. You looked at Jungkook. I should go now. Let's meet again. Not often, but occasionally. Is that okay with you too? They nodded, and you all share a group hug and make a promise to meet again. You take your belongings. You walk out, waving at them. After you left, Hoseok looked at Jungkook, and he was looking sad. If you like it, then you still had time. What are you saying? There is nothing like that. Don't forget that two broken hearts can make the strongest tie. Stop her! This house going to look so weird without her. He said and walked towards kitchen. Jungkook looked at the door and then at Hoseok. Suddenly, Hoseok heard a loud thug making him flinch. He looked at the door and smiled, seeing Jungkook running out. You were feeling sad because you don't want to leave them. In these past months, you made a strong bond with them. You never thought that someone would gather you this beautifully in your life. You start developing feelings for Jungkook, things you never thought of. One day you realize he made you feel the thing that Han never did, that butterfly feeling you never felt with Han. When he touched you, kiss you, but Jungkook's stare is enough to make those butterflies in your stomach. But you never gather the courage to confess him because you don't want to ruin your beautiful relationship with him. But little do you know, it's not going to be easy for you to live your whole life in guilt that you never confess your love, not even try. You open the cab door and one last time look at the house, and a smile automatically pops on your lips. I'm going to miss you all. You said and were about to sit inside when you heard the loud sound of door opening. Yeah, Minwai, and can't you just stop it? Your brows frown in confusion. Don't leave now. You were happy that he stopped you, but why? He takes out all your luggage from the cab and asks driver to leave. The driver gave him a weird look before starting the engine. What what are you doing? You really have to go. Are not you happy with us? Did we make you feel uncomfortable? It's not like that. I just don't want to become burden on you too. You said in a low voice while he sighed. You are not bothering us and even making us more happy by your presence. Don't roll up things. Tell me in simple words that what you want and why you did this. I like you. There is a minute silence. You were looking at him shocked while he had am I too straight kind of expression. I love you, Vyan. From the day I first saw you, for the first time my heart beat so fast and whenever I saw you crying, I feel to protect you, save you from any sadness. I thought to give you time because I knew it's not easy to move on, but now I can't control myself. I know I can't be your first, but let me be your last, please, Vyan. And I, he stopped his heartbeat again raised when he feels pair of lips on his cheeks. Face was burning red and you were smiling through your eyes. You backed off and looked down. How about you be my best? Wh- what? He was so confused but soon come in reality and pick you up. Hey, what are you doing, Dunkuk? Make it a habit, dear. Now you have to live in my arms forever. He said spinning you while you wrapped your arm around him so you won't fall. Hosuk smiled, looking at you both from the window. Six years later. Mom, look, Appa. You looked at Jungkook annoyed. I don't do anything. He is the one who is in the mood to fight with me. He called me troublemaker. I'm a good child, right, Mom? Of course, my prince, you are the best child of this world. He stick his tongue to Jungkook and walk towards Susuk. Uncle, next week is my birthday. I'm going to turn six. What should I ask to Mom and Dad? Husuk lifted him in his arms and smiled. How about a sibling? You don't have any, right? Yeah, my every friend have one. Jungkook, when he is actually going to stay with me for a week, then grant his wish. Don't make him disappoint, okay? Your face turned red as you looked down, feeling embarrassed. Jungkook smiled awkwardly. We will think of it, okay, Yoon? And don't say this type of thing in front of a small boy. Hoosuk smile and leave from there while you smile looking at Jungkook.